Let's visit the Jekyll Island Sea Turtle Center, where critically endangered patients are rehabilitated and get a second chance. This virtual Georgia Sea Turtle Center tour shows us how the center educates visitors on life-saving care and ocean conservation. From loggerheads to Kemp's Ridleys, discover how this sea turtle Jekyll Island sanctuary fights extinction, one flipper at a time. Our tour starts with a short walk to the Georgia Sea Turtle Center, an education and rehabilitation facility. As we walk, you cannot help but notice the paved brick walkway filled with commemorative bricks from donors supporting the center. With over 1,000 bricks, the walkway represents the belief that it takes everyone to accomplish the mission of rehabilitating sea turtles and preserving the ocean ecosystem. Opened in June 2007, this facility transformed a historic 1903 power plant building into a state-of-the-art rescue and education facility. Today, it gives visitors an up-close look at the world of sea turtle conservation, while also serving as a working rehabilitation facility for injured and sick turtles. Our tour started at the Rehabilitation Pavilion, one of the most important parts of the Georgia Sea Turtle Center. This is where science, compassion, and conservation come together to save the lives of injured and sick sea turtles. The pavilion provides a protected environment, where turtles in recovery are housed in specially designed tanks, monitored closely by veterinarians and marine biologists. This is not just a place for healing, it's a space of hope. Many of the turtles here have endured incredible hardships, from boat strikes and fishing gear entanglements to illness and environmental hazards. But thanks to the dedicated team here, many of them will be given a second chance at life in the wild. As you can see, the pavilion is lined with large, circular saltwater tanks, each one home to a patient or two at a different stage of recovery. These tanks mimic the ocean environment as closely as possible, allowing the turtles to regain strength, practice swimming, and gradually reacclimate to the water before they are released. As it is sometimes difficult to see the turtles in these tanks, the rehabilitation pavilion has placed large mirrors on the ceiling, so you can view the sea turtles in the tanks also in its reflection. Each tank is carefully labeled, featuring a sign with the turtle's name, species, age, when it arrived, and reason for rehabilitation. If you look closely, you'll notice that not all tanks are the same. Some are deeper for diving species like loggerheads, while others are shallower for those with buoyancy issues or weakened flippers. Some tanks even have specially designed platforms for turtles that need rest breaks between swims. These adaptations ensure that every turtle gets the individualized care they need during their rehabilitation. Some turtles stay for just a few weeks, while others require several months of care. Every case is different, but the goal is always the same to get these turtles healthy and back into their natural habitat. The rehabilitation pavilion is a busy, dynamic place. Every day, the veterinary and rehabilitation team performs essential tasks to ensure the well-being of their patients. This includes monitoring and daily health checks, physical therapy, and feeding and nutritional care. Finally, knowledgeable staff in the pavilion provided us with an up-close look at the anatomy, behavior, and threats faced by sea turtles using specimens and hands-on demonstrations. We learned that these sea turtles, swimming gracefully in their recovery tanks, are among the most ancient marine reptiles still alive today. They have been swimming in the world's oceans for over 100 million years, that means they existed before the dinosaurs went extinct. But despite their long history of survival, modern threats, like habitat destruction, plastic pollution, and climate change, are pushing many sea turtle species toward endangerment and extinction. And sea turtles are not just ancient creatures of the deep they are essential caretakers of the ocean. Looking at the different skulls, we learn how different sea turtles play important parts in maintaining a healthy ocean ecosystem. Green sea turtles are herbivores, with finely serrated jaws, allowing them to shear through seagrass and algae, keeping seagrass beds healthy. Loggerhead sea turtles have powerful jaws, built for crushing hard-shelled prey, like crabs, conchers, and clams. And leatherback sea turtles are the jellyfish hunters of the deep, critical for balancing ocean ecosystems, because jellyfish populations can explode without natural predators. With these presentations, we are reminded that sea turtles have survived for over 100 million years, and thus, we must do what we can to ensure they continue swimming for millions more. After visiting the rehabilitation pavilion, we entered the restored brick power plant building to explore the center itself. 
It was filled with a variety of educational and interactive exhibits, teaching us about the life cycle, habitats, and conservation challenges of sea turtles. In addition, although we didn't see any procedures while we were visiting, the center also includes a medical treatment area, behind glass where visitors might catch real veterinarians and marine biologists at work, treating injured and sick turtles. If it was in use, you would be able to watch live, as turtles receive care for a variety of conditions. Exploring the exhibit gallery, we were immersed in the amazing world of sea turtles and learned about the challenging life journey. Having to navigate predators, pollution, and climate change, only one in 1,000 hatchlings survives to adulthood. We also learned about George's five sea turtle species, from the Kemp's Ridley, the smallest, to the leatherback, capable of diving 4,000 feet. Handcrafted models of these turtles also float from the ceiling of the exhibit hall. Finally, there is a small tank, where we found a cute hatchling paddling around. Needless to say, watching it was mesmerizing. Observing this little fellow swimming in circles, we're reminded that every sea turtle, even the tiniest one, faces impossible odds. Plastic bags mimic their food. Fishing hooks tear their shells. Bright lights lure them away from the ocean. The Georgia Sea Turtle Center educates visitors and hopes to engage everyone to save this important species through even simple acts. Every nest protected, every straw refused, every fishing net modified with escape hatches adds up. That's the lesson of this little hatchling. Tiny actions, multiplied, can change tides. And with that, our tour was completed. Before we left, we perused a small gift shop where you can get turtle themed merchandise. Thanks for watching. Please like, follow, and subscribe.